Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video, we will learn how to install CW panel or WHM or the web host manager in CentOS 7. So let's get started. I am logged into my Digital Ocean virtual private server or the BPS via SSH as a root user. Let's check the Linux distro and its version. As you can see, it's CentOS 7 Linux 7 core. First, let's check the package updates and, and install the required packages. The packages listed above require updates. Press Ctrl plus L keys to clear the screen and install the updates. Wait for a while till the installation is complete. I fast forward the video so that you don't have to wait for a long and you don't get bored. Next, uh, let's also install some of the commonly used packages. Run yum space hyphen y install zip unzip tar wget vim curl tree. Although all of these packages may not be required and used in this video, they are the most common packages and you are always recommended to install them in the fresh machine of any Linux distro. Moving on, let's add a user named Encryption. You can add the user of any name of your choice, however. Also, verify if the user is created with the id command and the username as the argument. Next, add the user to the sudoers group so that the normal users can perform administrative operations as well. For this, fire up the command bi sudo and hit intro. Press uppercase G key twice to go to all the way to the last line. Press dollar key to go to the end of the line. Press I key to switch to the insert mode. Hit enter key to go to the next line and enter the username followed by a space all equals all space no pass wd colon all then press the escape key and press colon x key to save and exit from the file now login as the regular user change the directory to slash usr slash local slash src and here download the CWP installation and configuration script using the link as shown in the screen. We can use a wget tool to download a file from the internet. The CWP-EL7-Latest is the script file which we can download from the given link. If you copy the link and paste into a new tab of your browser, you can view the script. This is a bash script and the script includes everything required to install and configure the CWP or WHM in your server including the MySQL checker, CWP repository, EPEL repository, install dependencies, Configure MySQL, configure Apache, install CSF firewall, CWP brute force attacks protection, uh, WordPress stops, web panel installation commands. PSP My Admin Installer, Web Panel Settings, Mail Server, and a lot more. Going back to the server console, press Enter to download the script. After the download is complete, check if the script file has execute permission. The file now has only read write permission to the root user, read permission to the group and others and no execute permission to any users. So we need to provide execute permission to the script then only it will run. So to add execute permission type chmod space plus x and the script name. 
we get kind of error from csmod that is changing permission of the file operation not permitted we need to add sudo command before the csmod because a changing the permission requires administrative privilege now let's run the script using sh and the script name again we get a message this script must be run as root since the normal user has already got root equivalent privilege we can just do sudo and then run the script now the execution of the script to install and configure cw panel or whm begins since the script is written to install and configure lots of things it may take a lot of time so i pause the video here and we'll be right back after the execution of the script completes in the meantime let's point a registered domain name to the centos host so for this let's first note down the public ip address of the server and go to the domain registrar's dashboard i have a domain that is registered via godaddy.com so i log in to godaddy since i play with the domain frequently i am already logged into the godaddy.com here i click on this drop down arrow and click on my products here i click on the vertical dots then click on manage dns here i already have some dns records i am going to clean up the unused host a records and cname records then i am going to add the host record as the public address of the centos host after you are done with your dns manager go back to the centos 7 console here we can see the installation of cwp is completed we can access the web ui of the cwp or whm panel using the given url username and the password before we access the web ui let's reboot the server after a while reconnect to the server and login now let's go to the web browser and enter the public ip address of the server here we can see the apache test page this is because on port number 80 of the server apache web server runs by default but the cwp or whm is configured to run on port number 2030 or 2031 let's specify the port number on the url to get the cw panel or whm web ui i just add colon 2030 after the ip address in the url bar and hit enter here we can see the port is automatically changed or redirected to 2031 and there is a warning on the page that reads your connection is private this is because the page is now running on http protocol which is considered as less secure we will ignore it for now and access the web ur of the cw panel and we will later install and configure ssl certificates to run it in a secure connection or with https protocol so for now just click on advanced and click on proceed to 159.223.156.0 unsafe now enter the admin user as root the admin password as the root user password of the centos server and click on login okay we are logged into the cwp dashboard with the fresh installation of cwp and login to its dashboard we can see a lot of security warnings we will fix everything later for now let's turn the firewall on now i think the domain name is also pointed to the server let's quickly check it by opening the command prompt here let's ping to the domain and check the IP address if it matches with the St. West server's public IP address. In my case, the IP address matches and this verifies that the domain is successfully pointed to St. West 7 host. 
So going to the web browser and entering the domain name followed by the port number, we should get the web UI of the CW panel. Yes, we get the login page. Use the username as root and password as the root password of the Saint West server to login. Here we go. We get the dashboard. Okay, guys, this is how we can install and configure CW panel on a Saint West 7 host. We will perform a lot of cPanel administration tasks in other videos. I hope this video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when other videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you in other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.